Welcome to my channel. In this video series I'll be building and developing a wood gasifier generator. I'll give you a brief overview of the gasifier. Uh, we'll just jump to the model here. Basically the gasifier is a mix between your traditional downdraft input type and a Dristler style. So what you're looking at here, this is your feedlot hopper where the wood chip enters the system. This here is the fuel feed metering system. And this here is the heart of the gasifier. That's the fire tube and reactor. And here is the gasifier body. Over here is your cyclone separator. Downstream from that, over here, are the condensers. In this first episode, the beginning, we start with the boring stuff first. And that is the frame. What you've got here is a plan view. And here is the frame. Within that is the subframe. Also, what is visible on this view is the filter unit. Here's the gasifier. That's the biochar collection. But all that will be detailed in coming videos. Radio, well, we might as well get started. the bottom section of the frame being put together. These are four are the mounting points which the whole unit sits on. I'm just putting a chamfer on some of the edges. That's to make a V-groove for the welding. That is hot.
I thought I'd give spray cans a go. The paint is hammer tone charcoal. However, I wasn't really happy with the coverage. Um, I'd already gone through two spray cans and at uh, $20 each, um, this wasn't very cost effective. Here, yeah, I'm making a start on the subframe. Rather than spray painting, I decided to try rolling it on. And it actually turned out pretty good. Ah, my anti vibration mounts have arrived. I made this cross member off camera. It's bolt on so I can make changes if need be. I'm just drilling and tapping the holes for the anti-vibration mounts. And in goes the subframe. As you can see, the larger hole is so you can get a socket down to tighten up the mounts. The caster wheels are temporary only. They're just so I can move this thing around the shop when I need to. Once this thing is finished, it will go into its own little building and be bolted to the floor. This step up here in the subframe is to allow for the biochar collection chamber. 
the anti-vibration mounts are to isolate engine vibrations from the frame. All right, that's it. That's the frame. Well, that's the first step done. Next comes the good bits. Look forward to it.